and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming to practice with me today. It's been a little while since I've had the opportunity to record a new video, so I'm really, really pleased to be here in this new space to share some flow, some yoga, meditation, pranayama with you, and I look forward to kind of unfolding, unearthing the practice again after a little hiatus over the last couple of months. If you're finding me for the first time, I'll leave lots of information about what it is that I do, what this class is for, and anything else that you might need in the box below. And as always, just know that this is your practice, so please take this at your own pace, and if anything feels uncomfortable, just back out at any time. There's nothing that's required of you, just taking this time out of your day to nurture and honour the practice of yoga and, and yourself, your body, your mind, your soul, that's enough. So find your way into a comfortable seat. I have a little meditation cushion underneath my sitting bones, but you can sit on the floor or a cushion, whatever it is that you might have access to, to get yourself nice and comfortable. And I encourage you to let your knees be supported. So if the knees are lifted and the hips feel kind of tight, then place some blocks or bolsters or cushions or something underneath there for support. Because we're going to take a couple of moments seated to begin our practice today. And then once you've got yourself comfortable, begin to close the eyes, settle into the seat that you've chosen, let the spine grow long, so the sitting bones root down and the top of the head is reaching up to the sky, it's like we're a channel between the earth and the universe. This extension along the spine as we get taller and taller with each breath. And then that's where you can place your focus on your own breath. Letting the inhale roll into the exhale without force, without too much effort. No need to try and shift or change the breath. Take a moment here to breathe. And this breath is almost like a diagnostic tool, so you can recognize so much about what your experience is today just by checking in with the breath. How easy is it to take deep breaths into the belly? Or maybe today the breath is just drawing in and out of the chest. That's okay. No forcing, just observing without judgment. And then we're going to start using the breath and movement together to invite some space into the neck, the upper back. Very gently start to lower your chin down towards your chest. Maybe you can already feel a stretch through the back of the neck. If you want something a little bit more, gently interlace the fingers and place the hands on the back of the head, but don't pull down in any way. You're just resting the hands on the back of the head. The elbows drop in towards each other and maybe this extra weight starts to Bring a little bit of space into the back of the neck. Perhaps that sensation radiates down the spine. And we're just breathing here. With the next inhale, start to lift the chin and widen the elbows. And exhale, drop your chin towards your chest, elbows draw back in together so you're not pulling on the head. You're just moving gently with the breath. Inhale, lift the chin, lift the chest, broaden the elbows. And exhale, rounding through. One more time like that, inhale. And exhale. This time 
as you arrive at the top of the inhale, we've got a twist gently to the right side, so just opening up through the upper back. It doesn't have to be deep twists, just where it feels good in your breath. Inhale back to center, and then take that round to the left side. So just exploring the movement and breath together as you find that rotation on each exhale. Inhaling through centre and to the left. So keeping the elbows wide so the chest stays open. Last time to the left. This time as you come back to center, interlace the hands behind your back. And then use that interlace, roll the shoulders up to the ears and then drop them down the back of the body and send your fist backwards so you create space from shoulder to shoulder in front of the body. Maybe from here you can drop your right ear to your right shoulder, bring a little bit of lengthening into the left side of the neck. Perhaps gently Lifting and lowering the chin, finding any really juicy spots there. And then gently roll to the other side. Nice, just finding anywhere that you want to hang out for a moment longer. A nice deep stretch. And then come back to centre. Drop your chin down to your chest. Bring the arms all the way in front of you and interlace the fingers with the palms facing your chest. Then round through the upper back so you're stretching the trapezius muscles and also finding a little bit of space between the shoulder blades and the back of the body. So like you're hugging a great big tree trunk and pushing out through the backs of the hands, the backs of the shoulders, the backs of the arms. Next time you inhale, turn the palms forward, take a big stretch up over your head. And exhale, bring the hands all the way down, perhaps noticing that tingling sensation in the arms. Shoulders soften away from the ears. Pause here for a moment. slowly, now there's never any rush. I'm going to place your hands onto the mat, moving any props away from you that you no longer need. Find yourself in the centre of the mat on all fours and draw in through the navel now. So the back of the neck is long, you're pushing the, grounds to, the hands to the earth, pushing the ground away with the tops of the feet. Almost as if you're trying to lengthen the front of the shins onto the ground. And then use your next inhale, lift your chest, send your sitting bones wide behind you. And exhale, push through the hands as you gaze to your navel, cat cow. Moving slowly, shoulders drop away from the ears, look forwards. And exhale to round the spine, gaze to your navel. Coming back to centre, lift up your left toes and place them to the left side. Slide your left hand forward an inch or two, start to extend the right foot behind you. Drop the heel and sweep that right arm up to the sky. Maybe reaching it over your head. So we're getting a stretch through the right side of the waist. Take breath in. As you exhale, draw your right elbow towards your right knee, and your knee to your elbow. So inhale to lengthen. And exhale, squeeze the elbow to the knee. One more time, inhale. And exhale, this time step that right foot to the top of the mat. Pivot on the back knee so the shin comes down to the ground, parallel to the long edge of the mat. 
reach your right fingertips to the sky. It's beautiful sunshine here this morning. Place the right hand down to the inside of the right knee. Look forwards, lengthen out of the waist. Draw in through the navel so you're not hanging out into the lower back. Just taking this lizard pose. And then tuck your back toes. Lift your back knee. Push through the heel. And then grounding through the hands, squeeze your knee into your chest, step back to a high plank. Take a breath in. Exhale, lower the knees to the floor. Cat cow, inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, rounding through. Two more times, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, shoulders away from the ears, broaden the chest. Exhale, scoop in through the navel. Good, and then come back to centre. Right hand shifts forward an inch, pick up the right toes, place them to the right side. Lengthen your left leg behind you, drop your back heel and peel the left fingertips to the sky. Option to intensify the stretch by taking that left arm alongside your left ear. Lift up from underneath the right hip. Take a breath in. Exhale, the elbow and the knee draw together. Inhale, push through the heel. And exhale. One more time, inhale. And exhale. And this time, left foot comes to the top of the mat. Pick up the right shin, place it down to the floor, parallel to the long edge of the mat, and sweep your left fingers to the sky. So the two shoulders are moving away from the ears as you rotate the upper part of the rib cage around the spine. Take a breath in, release that left hand to the instep of the left foot. Lengthen the chest forward, readjust the knees or the feet if you need to. Just a gentle stretch through that left hip. Then scooping through the navel, tuck your back toes, push through the heel to energize through that right leg. Then step the left foot to meet the right at the back of the mat, high plank. And take a breath in, push through the hands, bend your knees, downward facing dog. Start to walk your feet towards your hands, nice and slow with control and as you arrive there, land both feet hip width apart and fall forwards over your toes. Slowly start to rise up as you root through the feet, coming all the way up to stand and reach your arms over your head, push the ground away and exhale, bring the hands through the midline of the body as you heel toe the feet together and let the tension go from the jaw. Let the mind rest back on the breath. Notice how it feels to be here. Take an inhale, raise your arms over your head and exhale, folding forwards. Look up halfway, place hands onto the shins, and exhale, plant your palms, step your left foot to the back of the mat. Now widen your feet so they're hip width apart, push the ground away as you raise the arms over your head. Then bend the left arm around the back of the body, and either catch hold of your shirt or interlace the fingers behind you. Try to draw the ribs back into 
space so that you're not flaring. Keep everything nice and contained, controlled. Shorten the abdomen. Lift and lengthen. Good, keep pushing through that back heel to open up through the front of the left hip. And then release that right hand all the way down and interlace the two hands behind your back. Mm, nice big click in my chest. Feel that space opening up. Release your hands, frame that right foot and step to the top of the mat. Inhale to lengthen hands onto the shins, long spine, rib cage away from the pelvis, and exhale to fall. Roll up, inhale, slowly pushing the ground away. And exhale, falling back down. Shift the weight to the left foot. Look forwards as you step that right foot to the back of the mat. Reach your arms up alongside your ears. And then sweep that right hand behind you as you bend both elbows and interlace the fingers or catch hold of your shirt. Flatten the shoulder blades to the back of the body. And breathe. And keep pushing through the heel of the back foot. Lengthening through the spine. Containing the rib cage. Core is engaged. Push the ground away a little bit more strongly. Releasing the hands, gently sweep the left hand all the way around to meet the right. Interlace the fingers and open up through the chest another time. Good. Keep squeezing from the outer hips so you have that stability through the lower body. And then release the hands. Frame the foot at the top of the mat. Step forwards and lift halfway. And then fold over your toes. Rooting through your feet, inhale, rise all the way up to stand. And exhale, hands through the midline of the body. Releasing them to the sides. Take your hands onto your hips and step your left foot a little bit shorter step back. So kind of two thirds of the way back perhaps. Find a place where both heels can be connected to the ground. And again, your hips and your feet are the same width apart, just to give a little bit of space so you're not on a tightrope. Reach your hands behind your back, find a prayer. And if you can't find a prayer, you can catch hold of opposite elbows instead. So whatever works for you here, now think about extending out of the waist. Take a breath in and exhale, begin to fold forwards, keeping that length through the collarbones. So you don't have to fold too deeply. Maybe 90 degrees, maybe you've got the space to fold, but if you start to roll your shoulders forwards, then perhaps just come up a touch. Long through the back of the neck, gazing down the tip of your nose, working the two hands together. And then gently push through the feet, Come all the way back up. And from here, we can just pivot on the heels to the other side. And then widen the right foot away from the left so that you've got that space for the hips to point forwards. If you're holding onto the elbows, perhaps switch which way round. If the hands are in prayer, leave them there, but just check in with the shoulders, drop them away from the ears. Scoop in through the navel, extend out of the waist, create space at the top of the left hip as you begin to fold down. Gaze down the tip of your nose. Feel that space through the back of the left leg opening up and use your breath. And pushing through the prayer hands, dropping the shoulder blades against the back of the body. And then push through the feet, come all the way back up to stand. Release the hands onto the hips. Step the two feet together and from here just inhale all the way up and exhale falling down. Good, look up halfway. 
Exhale, release the hands, bring the knees down to the floor. Send your hips to your heels, but keep your two toes, two sets of toes tucked under, hands come onto the thighs. Shoulders roll back and the spine is long. This is for a juicy toe stretch just for a moment. Notice if the shoulders want to start creeping up to the jaw. And see if you can let them be soft, keeping the chest proud. And then walk your hands forward onto the mat. Maybe bring your knees back a touch, place the knees underneath the hips and walk your hands to the top corners of the mat. Keep your hips stacked over your knees and drop your chest down towards the ground. Puppy pose, the Anahatasana. You can always place a block or a pillow underneath your head. Bring space into the shoulders. Keep that connection through the toes, through the hands. And release the forearms to the ground. Scoop in through the navel and send your chest forwards. Lie the lower body onto the ground, sphinx pose. Maybe bring the elbows a little bit closer towards each other so the forearms are parallel. Keep a little bit of space through the back of the body for a moment. So think about energizing out of the waist. And then take a breath in, exhale, hinge on the elbows, make a little pillow for your hand, widen the forearms, turn one ear to the earth, feel the back of the body spread. Notice, check in, is there a little bit of space now through the shoulders, through the neck that wasn't there before? And then place the hands either side of your chest. Push all the way back to a child's pose. Take a nice deep breath in. And aside to let it go. And walk your hands towards your knees. And then scoop the feet from underneath you. Pause on your lap for a moment. Perhaps turn to face the screen if you are unfamiliar with a snail pose or halasana. We're going to come into a deep stretch of the neck and it's really important that when you go into the pose, you're not moving your head around. So rather than working in and then trying to look at the screen, if you're unfamiliar, I invite you to watch first, maybe pause the video and then give it a go once you know where you're going. So you're gonna to come to sit on the edge of your mat and roll your body back down onto the ground. Your hands come either side of your hips and you're gonna press into your hands to bring your knees in towards your chest. And then from here, a little bit like a shoulder stand, you're gonna to start to lift the hips away from the ground. But the difference with shoulder stand is that the feet go up Today, we're gonna to send the feet over our head. Now, if you have a pillow or a block or something close by, grab it so that you've got it nice and close. Then push into the hands, start to send your feet back and take your hands onto the lower back for support. The knees stay close to the forehead and you walk your feet behind your head. Now, if you're doing this first thing in the morning, you'll find it's probably super sticky, really tight so that your feet might not touch the floor. If that's the case, you can place the bolster or the pillow underneath your feet. And then if the feet are on the floor, you can reach back and take hold of them, bend the knees and start to draw the knees in nice and close, like a deep stretch through the back of the body. And it can be a very strange sensation, but just observe it. If it's painful, please come out. But if it's just a deep stretch, then be here with your breath. 
Just take four more. And each breath finding a little bit more depth. And of course, if you want to stay here a little bit longer, you always can. And just listen to your body. And to release the pose, first take your hands onto your back. Then place them onto the floor with the palms facing down and use that to guide the body all the way down nice and slowly with control. And then place the feet onto the floor. And we're gonna shuffle all the way back on the mat. And drop the shoulders back down, hug the knees into the chest, catch the outside edges of the feet and send the feet up to the sky for happy baby letting the back of the body connect to the earth so rather than lifting the hips up to go deeper can you maybe make the shape a little bit less um, impressive and instead focus on that nice long spine Slowly gather the knees into your chest, have a little rock from side to side. Maybe pause for a moment to take anything else that you might need to close your practice. And then when you're ready, you can extend the body onto the ground. Get yourself nice and comfortable. Maybe grab a blanket, you can place your cushion underneath your knees, whatever you need. Flatten the shoulders to the earth, turn the palms up. Take a deep breath in, let it go, and then let the body be supported by the ground beneath you. Just absorbing all of the efforts, your practice shifts, the changes, give yourself this time. Arguably the most important part of your practice, Shavasana, this final relaxation. Slowly let the mind come back to your breath. As you take a deep inhale in through the nose. Let out a gentle sigh. Another deep inhale in. Soft sigh to let it go. Beginning to move the fingers and the toes. Maybe stretching the arms over your head. Drop the head from side to side. Notice the freedom, the space in the neck, the shoulders. And then gather the knees in towards your chest. Squeeze into a ball. Hug the knees nice and tight. And without opening the eyes, you could roll onto your side or gently bring yourself up to seat it. And we'll meet there in a comfortable seat, resting the hands together at the center of the chest. 
taking a moment just to acknowledge the efforts, the practice, the space that you've created in your day, in your mind, in your body. Feeling of gratitude for that space. Allow yourself these few last breaths. And perhaps placing an intention here to carry that space with you as you leave the mat today. Invite it into your thoughts, your words, your actions. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me and sharing this practice today. If you enjoyed it, I'd love to hear from you. You can find me on social media and my email, all of that's in the box below, or you can leave a comment and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos coming soon. Have a wonderful day.